Hi boys and girls, I'm back. So a few years had passed, and I think I was now in the uh, ripe old age of about nine or 10 in grade four. And I wrote this book and I was so happy with this book. And my teacher, I think she liked it too, which was great. And she actually published bits of it in the newsletter and she did it over several weeks. Um, and I think it's kind of maybe the best story I've ever written, but you know, see what you think. I don't want to talk it up too much. It's called Ralph the Cooking Dog, written by Graham Truen, but I haven't got my name on it. Ralph the Cooking Dog. One, whoa, whoa, that was close. One day when I went to a barbecue, I saw a black and white spotted dog cooking pancakes. I said to a man standing next to me, why is that dog cooking pancakes? The man said, that's Ralph the cooking dog. He cooks the food at our barbecues. He's for sale. How much? I said, $20, the man answered. I bought him and as soon as we arrived home, we walked upstairs and cooked. He walked upstairs and cooked himself some dog biscuits. I hit him on the nose and said, don't help yourself. You eat when I feed you. I would never really hit a dog, but he walked away. That night I went to sleep and at midnight I woke up with an aching headache. I walked to the kitchen and I saw Ralph cooking hamburgers. I hit him on the nose and said, you're a very naughty dog. I know what I'll do. I'll chain you up to the clothesline. Hmm. It's a bit different to how I remember it. The next day I chained him up and gave him a tin of pal. It was a very popular dog food in the 1980s. I went to get the mints for a hamburger and it was all gone. I went out to buy some mince meat and some dog food, but the man at the counter said a little dog came along and bought everything. 6,000 kilograms of mints and 400 kilograms worth of dog food. I drove home and went to sleep. I woke up at 10 p.m. And I heard Ralph barking. And then I heard a man yell, ouch. I went outside to see what was happening and I saw a burglar. I called the police before the robber saw me and the police came down to catch the robber. They caught him and gave him 10 years in prison. I put Ralph in my bed and in the morning I made him some sausages and he ate them all up. The next day I gave him some money to buy a drink. But he bought two drinks, one for me and one for him. It was Lemon Solo. We had the drinks with our hamburgers, and after that, we went to the Easter show. We went on the go-karts and the dodgem cars. We had great fun. We went on all different rides, and we went to see the firecrackers. I think I've said went too many times. We bought some show bags, and we bought the horror show bag, the Birdie Beetle show bag, and lots more. You can still get the Birdie Beetle show bag good value. The next day we nearly made ourselves sick from the food in the show bags. We drove to see The Goonies. That was a popular movie in, for a time in the 1980s. We drove to see The Goonies and we enjoyed it. After that we drove back home and Ralph cooked me some pancakes. The end. That was Ralph the Cooking Dog. So boys and girls, what I'd like you to do is to write a story. You might just type it up on a Google Doc or on the Google Doc that I share with you, if you want to write um, just on it, I'm making my own book, you might do it on paper and you might try and stick it together. Staple it if you've got a stapler or just, I don't know, you could tape it together, but turn it into, if you can, a real, a real book. Maybe writing at the top with illustrations. Or maybe you can bring that when you come back next term. I'll talk to you soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed Ralph the Cooking Dog. Um, yeah, there was a couple of bits in there that I'd forgotten about, but you know, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.